I originally wanted to become a veterinarian when I was eight years old. Uh, my father is a physician and my uncle was a veterinarian and I fell in love with the science aspect of it but obviously loved dogs and cats and felt like that really was my calling and even in my elementary school book in my uh, school yearbook it asked what everyone wanted to be what their favorite character was and I believe what their favorite food was and I wanted to be a veterinarian in fifth grade already. So I went to undergrad at University of Miami, did my vet studies at St. George's University in Grenada in the West Indies, and did my final year at University of Illinois, and then did an internship at ASPCA in New York City, and was an emergency doctor at a hospital in North Jersey for a couple years, decided to go back and do a residency in critical care, and I completed that at Oradell Animal Hospital in North Jersey, and then shortly after that, I started here in the critical care department at North Star Vets. We're taking those patients that are in traumas, that are in toxicities, or they have severe metabolic derangements, or they have things like, in, like diabetes or hyperthyroidism. And what we're doing is we're sort of helping them come in from their local veterinarians or on an emergent basis and taking care of them overnight and then transferring to other specialty services. However, in the critical care department, what we're doing is we're actually taking care of those same patients and helping out all the other services in the hospital. For instance, if the surgical department has a really complicated anesthetic case that they need to focus on their surgery, we're gonna help them with the anesthesia whether it be the protocol or in the operating suite helping with that. If internal medicine has a very complicated case that has a lot of different things going on that need more attention and need more surveillance, they oftentimes will have us monitor their, their cases as well. So the critical care service is sort of the catch-all to help all the other departments and help take care of the sickest of the sick animals. Even with bad days, you're still helping patients and you're helping their families. So at the end of the day, it doesn't matter how busy we are or how crazy the cases are or crazy the day is, you, you feel great at the end of the day knowing that you're helping people and you're helping maintain pets' quality of life, which to me is the most important thing we can do. My favorite thing here is not only the volume of patients that we see, but the camaraderie between the different departments and how well we all work together. It, it's, it's an awesome place to be. From the front desk to the back, we all get along very well and it's a nice cohesive team. Good girl.